Hello, this is Travis Elliott and welcome to Flow and Stretch. This is my favorite way to practice because you flow for the first half of the class and then after you get the body nice and warm and nice and loose, then you stretch and you relax. So it feels very, very balanced. A balance between power yoga and yin yoga. Now this class is from the popular program Yoga 30 for 30, which I created with my wife, Lauren Ekstrom. And basically you move through 30 days of yoga and you do 30 minutes a day. So it's a very time efficient way to practice. But at the same time, you're building strength, you're creating length. It's very good for the mind and the nervous system. So you get all those subtle benefits as well. If you're interested in the entire program, it is available on Inner Dimension TV, which is my monthly streaming yoga service where all my programs, all my classes are there. Level Up 108, Flexibility and Beyond, Yoga 30 for 30, and much more, and also some other incredible teachers. So come check us out over at Inner Dimension TV. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Also click on the link at the top of the comment section. I want to hook you up with three free classes. And that's it. I hope you have a great practice. Enjoy your flow and stretch. I'll see you on the mat. Hey everybody, welcome to the yoga flow and stretch practice. We're going to get started right now just in a standing forward fold. Feel free to spread the feet out about the width of the hips or maybe even a little bit wider the width of the shoulders. Grab opposite elbows. So you put a frame, a box around the head and just let the weight of the head go. Let the whole torso just yield to gravity. As you start to find that movement of air, just starting to slide like a wave in and out through the nose. Feel free to maybe sway side to side, perhaps a little bounce up and down through the knees. Just stretching the whole back side of the body from the heels all the way up through the top of the neck and the base of that skull. Release the hands down towards the ground and with a little bend in those knees, go ahead and slowly ragdoll your way all the way up to standing. No hurries, no worries. Just taking your time. As you come up to standing, circle those arms up to the sky. Inhale, reach up. And then hands to prayer right in front of your heart. From here, half sun salutes on the inhale. Reach those arms all the way up to the sky. And then forward fold on that exhale, flow all the way down. Flat back. Inhale, heart draws out. And then forward fold, exhale, hang low. Back up to standing, inhale, circle those arms all the way back up. And then hands to prayer right in front of the heart, couple more like that. Circle those arms up, inhale, let that breath lead the way. And then forward fold, exhale like a moving prayer. Flat back, inhale, draw in the air. Forward fold, exhale, hang low. Circle those arms to the sky. Big inhale, reach up. And then hands back to prayer. Good, now both arms reach up on the inhale. And then fold all the way down, just allowing that chest to drape out over the legs. This time, flat back. Inhale, stretch the heart out. Step back to plank. Pause there. Take one inhale to organize and then lower steady on that exhale. And then cobra, on the inhale, spread those collarbones wide. And then back to down dog, flip the toes, lift the hips, drop that head, and feel free to walk that dog out, just finding some sensation across the back sides of the legs. The fingers spread wide, the hands nice and flat like pancakes. As those palms dig, the hips ascend up. From here, starting to find a little bit more of a rhythm and a little bit more of a flow. Take an inhale, draw the hips back, and then exhale, walk or jump light to the top of that mat. Inhale, flat back, spine out. 
forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, come up to standing. Interlace all the fingers except the indexes. And then lean to the right on the exhale. Back up to middle on the inhale. And then to the left on the exhale. Straight up on the inhale, steeple pose. And then exhale, forward fold. Drop that head down low. Flat back, inhale, fill the lungs with breath. Step or jump back, lower down. Same exhale. Over, upward dog on the inhale. And then downward dog, exhale. Continuing to flow, take an inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, create that length. Exhale, find that sweet stretch. Arms up on the inhale, just circle up. Lean it to the right, on the exhale. Back up to center on the inhale. Other side, exhale. Good, back up to neutral, inhale, reach. And then forward fold, exhale. Just moving with that breath. Flat back, inhale, draw it down. Step or jump back, lower down. Elbows in, weight forward. On the inhale, arch that back. And then down dog, exhale. Couple more rounds, inhale, pressing it back, building some warmth. Exhale, walk or jump, both feet through. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Arms to the sky, inhale, rise. Lean it to the right, get long through that left side. Back up on the inhale, other side, exhale. Straight up on the inhale, and then fold all the way down on the exhale, feeling that yoga. Inhale, letting the breath, the body, the mind merge. And then back to plank, lower down, exhale, slow with control. Good, inhale, chest up, shoulders roll. And then down dog, exhale. Last round, inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or fly, top of that mat. Inhale, flat back, sternum out. Exhale, forward fold. Arms up on the inhale, back to steeple. Lean to the right till it feels good. Back up on the inhale. Other side, exhale. Good, inhale, right on up. And then exhale, forward fold. Let it all hang. Flat back, inhale, breathe it deep. Step or jump back, lower down, fluidly. Inhale, chest up. Exhale back to downward dog. Hold there. Take a breath or two. Notice what's shifting. Notice what's coming up. From here, let's move on into that next phase. Right leg lifts on the inhale. And then swing that right foot forward, top of the mat on the exhale. Spin the back foot flat. Slide the right foot a little to the right, just an extra inch or two. And then we'll come up to warrior one. So take both arms and just extend those straight up to the sky. As you get solid through the lower body, and you get long and tall and light through the upper body. Take another inhale, reach up through the hands. Bring the hands behind the lower back, interlace the fingers. On the inhale, lean back, chest up, and then drop your torso down, inner right knee, right thigh, into what we call humble warrior. Good, you're keeping that right knee bent right above that right heel and your outer left hip still turning forward. So those hips are still in that neutral rotation. As you bend that right knee deep, you're dragging that right femur bone away from that right hip socket. And then you breathe into that space. Where that mind goes, the energy flows. Now back up to warrior one. On the inhale, reach the arms up. And then vinyasa all the way down, same exhale. Cobra upward dog, inhale, and then downward dog, exhale. Left leg lifts on that inhale. Swing that left foot forward, top of the mat. Warrior one pose as you're ready. Both arms reach, 
all the way up to the sky. Square those hips, turning that outer right hip forward. Press strong through that back right little toe. Almost like there's a raisin underneath that toe and you're squashing, pressing it into the ground. Take another inhale, reach up. Hands behind the back, interlace. On the inhale, lean back. Drop that torso down. Humble warrior on the other side. So this pose also celebrates that quality of humility. Very often as we move deeper and deeper into our practice and into our path of yoga, we become stronger, we become more powerful physically, mentally, emotionally. As those powers increase, we want to complement it always with that humility. Back up, Warrior One. On the inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, vinyasa lower all the way down as you glide and you ride. Huge inhale, chest up. And then down dog, exhale. All right, you guys, we're gonna take that now and we're gonna flow it. So three full rounds of a humble warrior flow to build the energy. And then we'll get down onto the mat and get into those deep stretches. So here we go. Let's rock and roll. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot flows. Warrior one, inhale, come up. Hands behind the back, exhale, interlace. Chest up, inhale, lean back. Drop the torso down, inner right thigh, out breath. Back up, warrior one. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, vinyasa, all the way down. Chest spreads on that inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Left leg lifts, inhale. Flow it deep, exhale. Up to warrior one, inhale, rise. Hands behind the back, get set. Lean back, inhale. Drop down deep into that left hip, exhale. Back up, warrior one, inhale, come up. And then vinyasa all the way down with breath control. Inhale, which leads to mind control. Exhale, which leads to life control. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, swing it through. Warrior one, inhale, rise, come up. Behind the back, interlace. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, drop it with that humility. Back up, inhale, warrior one, reach up thoroughly. Exhale, lower all the way down steadily. Inhale, bend that spine yoga -liciously. Exhale, back, down dog. Left leg up, inhale, lift. Exhale, swing it through. Inhale, rise from a strong foundation. Behind the back, interlace them. Chest high, inhale. Drop down low, explore that hip. Good, back up, warrior one, rise and lift. Exhale, vinyasa down. Elbow, shave the ribs. Huge inhale, pull that air low. Exhale, last round to go. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, swing it through. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Behind the back, you having some fun? Inhale, chest up. Exhale, drop it deep. Good, inhale, rise, lift and reach. Exhale, vinyasa, Tanya's smiling, that's a good thing. Huge inhale, chest is up, shoulders are low. Exhale, last side to go, left leg up, inhale. Left foot, top of the mat. Warrior one, inhale, rise with grace. Behind the back, interlace. Inhale, lean back, humble warrior, torso down. Good, back up, warrior one, last standing pose. Exhale, vinyasa, lower down with soul. Inhale, soul in motion. Exhale, back. Down, dog. Woo! Good, you guys. Before we come down onto the floor, I want to give you a really good stretch for the tops of the feet. So check this out. Come forward to plank, upper push-up. Bring the tops of the feet on the mat. Toes stretch back. Keep the tops of the feet on the mat. And then go ahead and lift those hips all the way up to the sky, just like you would in downward facing dog. How's that feel, Janine? She said it feels good. You sure about that? 
big stretch for the tops of those feet, especially for you runners out there. Good, slide forward to plank, upper push up, tuck the toes back underneath, and then down dog. Lift those hips high as can be. Nice, you guys, take an inhale, press those hips back. Relax the knees down onto the mat. Crawl the knees forward about halfway off the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release onto the sit bones. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you. And then bend your right foot back by your right hip. Open your right knee towards the right side of your yoga mat. And then take your whole body and slide it all the way towards the left. Take this hip, bring it right over here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so the inner thighs are open out 90 degrees. It's like Simon says, right? Crawl your hands out between your inner legs and then just start crawling out, crawling out, crawling out until you find that stretch for the inner legs and the inner thighs. So the first part of the practice is obviously about building the heat, building the strength, getting the body nice and warm and supple. And now we take advantage of that warmth. When you started this practice, you had about 75% water within your muscle tissues at this point. You're now about 90% water. So you got much more elasticity. So let's get in there and let's start stretching these tissues out. those inhales down nice and deep and keep that mind dialed into your practice inevitably there's gonna be those moments where that mind checks out just gently let that distraction go and come back to that breath flow good now crawl your torso all the way over by your left foot left leg reach your hands out and grab that left foot, left leg with both hands. And just grab whatever you can get. Take an inhale, reach that heart up and out. And then exhale, fold out over top that left leg. And enjoy that stretch across that left heel, that left calf, the back of the knee, all the way up through the hamstring and the glutes. Nice, you guys, from here, bring your left arm to the inside of your left leg. Take your right arm, reach it all the way up to the sky. And then extend that right arm all the way out towards the front. You can stay here. Some of you may have enough reach where you can actually catch that left foot there. And if that's you, you bring that right hand to the outside of the left foot. And then you can take that left hand and you can actually grab onto the inner arch of that left foot. And then you turn those right ribs open to the sky. You roll those bottom left ribs underneath and in, and you give the whole entire right side of that torso just a big, big, huge stretch. In all these poses, you always have options. And you find the option, you find the path that works for you and your body. So you're practicing at home, and if you don't look like any of these guys, it doesn't matter. Just do it the way that you can do it. Now from here, come all the way back up. Turn the torso forward towards your front left foot, left leg. And then bring your right knee in to join the inner left knee, but Try and keep that right foot where it is. Now I'm gonna ask Ahmed to put this block underneath his left hip. You might wanna do that variation. That's gonna be really protective and safe for that right knee. Good, now hands onto the ground behind you about the width of the shoulders. Fingers face forward. Lean back onto the hands and then lift the hips off the ground press the left toes down towards the floor and exhale lower slowly back down good a couple more like that inhale lean back so you press the lift 
and exhale, lower back down. One more time. Inhale, we call it a pulse. And exhale, lower back down. Good, now crawl the hands back in. Take your left foot and bring it high to your inner right thigh. So your left knee opens out towards the left. The gentle variation is to have the foot on the inner thigh like Tanya. Or if you want to go deeper, you can always bring that left foot high on top of the right thigh, half lotus like Janine. Either way, take your left hand, bring it onto the ground behind you, or you can come into a full wrap. So that left hand could reach around and grab onto the toe. Take that right hand, bring it to your inner left thigh. So instead of the knee, we'll bring it high up the leg. And then take an inhale, lift that spine up nice and tall. And then you roll that left chest back. Just taking a couple breaths there. This is a lot of different areas in the body. You got the top of the right foot, the right knee, the right thigh, the left hip is in external rotation. You're in a twist, the inner left chest, left shoulder stretching. A lot of places getting touch. And this is all about flexibility and mobility through every link in that bodily chain. Now turn the gaze forward, unravel out of that twist, release that wrap, lean to the left, extend your right leg straight out in front of you. And then take your left foot, slide it down by your right knee. Bend your right foot underneath your left knee, left thigh, coming into double seated pigeon pose. Now double seated pigeon pose, you can always grab a block, you can sit on top of the block. You can also come to easy cross-legged seated position. So again, modify if you need. Once you get set up to that low body, on the inhale, lift the arms all the way up. And then exhale, fold all the way over and down. So Trey back here is a great example of somebody that's in easy cross-legged seated position in yoga. We call it Sukhasana. If your hips feel really, really tight, again, feel free to take that. And you get deep, deep, deep into those hips. There's a story about this guy one time that wrote a letter to the IRS. And he said in his letter that he hadn't been able to sleep in several weeks. So due to the guilt that he had been holding on to, he had enclosed the check within his letter for $4,000. And then at the bottom of the letter, he said, P.S. If I find that I still can't sleep at night in the future, I'll send you the rest later. And so the point is, can you just go ahead and release it all now? Now's the time to just let it go. So you're not holding on to anything at all that's bogging you down. Let's get light. And let's get light within that body, but also let's get light inside of the mind and light inside the heart. Staying with that breath, ease your way all the way back up to seated and extend those legs straight out in front of you along the mat and then same thing other side so take your left foot bend that back by the outside of that left hip open your left knee towards the left side of the mat slide your whole body over to the right and then turn your torso towards your inner legs and just start crawling your arms your hands out to your own degree. We call this half dragonfly pose. The mind is calm. Breath is steady, deep, fluid, and long. You just keep showing up, keep showing up, remembering. It's a 30-day journey. And the person you are when you start the journey is completely different than the person at the end of the journey, which is a testament to all that you're doing on your path. 
all these poses, all the breathing, all the meditative techniques, then you add in that whole nutritional component. It's like a recipe for yoga transformation. Now keep that torso down low, crawl your way all the way over by your right foot, right leg. Reach your hands out and grab your right foot, right leg. Take an inhale, draw the heart up and out. And then exhale, fold right out of the top, that right leg. And almost like an archeologist digging for artifacts. See if you can dig deep into the earth, into the terrain of the body. But instead of looking for those artifacts, see if you can find and seek out those knots and those kinks and start to breathe into those kinks start to get that blood moving through there on a deeper level. Good, right arm inside of that right leg. Take that left arm, bring it up to the sky. Open up that left chest. And then extend that left arm all the way forward and out. And then find your variation, which might be a little different than the way you did it on the first side. That's okay. And see if you can just enjoy a monstrous stretch across the whole left side of that torso. Just getting long and lean the mind calm, balanced, steady, serene. onto the floor behind the hips fingers face forward press forward through your right foot right toes lean back into the hands and then inhale float the front body to the sky and exhale lower all the way down good two more inhale lift and expand and exhale lower one more time, inhale, press the lift, exhale all the way down, crawl those hands back in, and then bring your right foot up to your inner left thigh, or maybe on top of that thigh for the half lotus variation. As you get that lower body set up, go ahead and bring that right hand around behind you. You can either have your right thumb right behind the tailbone, or come all the way into the wrap where you reach around and maybe even grab your left foot, left toes. Now inhale, draw that spine up tall, create that lift. And on that exhale, just peeling that outer right shoulder back. And as much as possible, allowing that twist to really happen above the diaphragm. Awesome, turn the gaze forward, slowly unravel out of that twist, lean over to the right, extend the left leg straight out in front of you, let that blood rush down through that left knee, and your right foot high on top of your left knee, left eye, setting up, double seated pigeon on the other side. As you're ready, you guys, both arms to the sky. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, spill all the way over and down. And if you find that the head is pretty close to the ground, but not quite there, 
can always take a block and slide that right underneath the forehead so that the weight of the head is being supported by something. And that'll just deepen that relaxation effect. Just as important as the flow and the power and the strength is, it's the part of the practice where we move slow, we get into the deep stretches like this one, also yin, restorative, gentle, the mobility series, the meditation, the pranayama, because it's all about balance. And when we find balance, we find wholeness. Awesome, go ahead and ease your way all the way back up. Extend those legs straight out in front of you on the floor. And then go ahead and recline all the way back into a final resting pose. Shavasana. Good job, you guys. You made it. You flowed. You stretched. And now it's time to just take a last minute or two at least to slip into the power of stillness. You know, to just allow everything that you just created to have an opportunity to seep in, to assimilate before you move on into the rest of your day. So with the eyes closed, just kick back and melt into the floor, Shavasana. from here I'm going to say that this class is officially complete but as usual feel free to stay as long as you like that's it for this flow and stretch be consistent be inspired and we'll see you next time All right, how was your practice? Let me know down in the comments section below how your flow was, how the stretch felt, and also where you're practicing, where you're joining from in the world today. Remember to hit that subscribe button below. I'll continue to give you guys more freebies here on YouTube. Remember, if you want more than just the appetizer to check us out on Interdimension TV. And in the meanwhile, Thank you for hitting that subscribe button down below and I'll see you down the road.